Hello, Dave here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the left outer join in MySQL. On this, uh, on my screen here, I have two PHP MyAdmin sessions, and I basically just went to home on both of those to get started, both running on the same local XAMPP server, and that's where we're going to do our uh, exercises. And I also have a uh, URL here, which has our, anyway, first of all, uh, this is just the, the syntax for the left join. And here's the uh, W, what is that, W3 schools definition. The left join keyword returns all rows from the left table, even if there are no matches in the right table. And hence, that's where the left comes in. There is such thing as a right join, but uh, nine times out of ten or in day-to-day -day life, inner join and left join are what is used most of the time. The inner join only gives you a match when there is a row in both tables. And in a left join, you get all the rows from the first table. And if there are values in the second table, you get them. Otherwise, in MySQL, you get a null. And that's what we're going to play with. That's what we're going to demonstrate. So let's get going here. I'm using my MM site move database. So let me go there in both places. And we need two tables. So in my first version here, we'll take a look at the post table. And the second one here, we'll take a look at the comments table. So you just using a WordPress database, it's a real database, exists out there. And it's something we probably are all familiar with, especially if you're on the internet searching YouTube for videos, right, is posts and posts, people can put posts on comments. So each post can have one to many comments. The way they're stored in WordPress is that the post has a post ID, which is its primary key, and that's this column here. And in the post table itself, all it has at the end here is this comment count. And that's the only way from the, from the post table that you know if there are comments or not. Now, if we take a look at the comments table, we'll notice that the comment has its own ID, but it also has a comment post ID. So this comment post ID points to the post that that comment is on, and you can have many comments on one post. So we're talking about a one-to-many relationship here. And... What we're going to go through and see is that I can, if I did an inner join between posts and comments, I would only get the posts that actually have a comment. By doing a left join, I will get a row in my result table for every post with or without the comment data. And that's where we're going to go now. So let's go ahead and go into I'm just using the post table as my main table here. So that's the table that's going to be on the left. And it's basically, or most commonly in my experience, it has been the first table that you define. One, that is the left. And two, it is generally the more master table. And here, for example, posts is more of a master table because comments are kind of a child of posts. I know not actually, but right, but you don't have a comment without a post generally. And I'm sure someone could figure out some way to do it. But in our case, post is the main table, comments is the not main table, post is going to be the left table, comments is going to be the right table, or primary, secondary. So if I go ahead and let's just go ahead and do a select count star from posts and it's WP posts. It's again a good place to I usually start with doing a select count. 
I click the Go button over in the corner there, and I see that I have 96 posts. Okay, I have 96 posts. Now, how many posts do I have? Where comment count is greater than zero. So how many posts have comments? Oh, look at that, only six. So if I do a, ah, there we go. If I do a select ID and select post title, and I'll go ahead and just pick a couple other columns. Post status and post type. Right. I can get a, a list of all the post values, and that's going to be from WP posts. Right. If I go ahead and do a go here, and that's the beauty, doing selects, can do it over and over again, build in pieces. Right, so now I have a little table here. Up here, see that? It says showing rows 0 through 29. It does the limit and only returns 30 rows. Right, if you had a million rows out there, you don't want to wait forever. This, that's why it shows you 30 at a time. You can change that to a user-defined value. But out of my 96 total, right, so out of all these posts, there they are, and there's my, my post information. So now if I go ahead and just do an inner join with WP comments on ID equal, and just to show you, I, I have these fields available, but that's why I have these two separate sessions here. If I look at the comments table out here, I see, oh, here's the actual comment fields. And I can see that I have comment post ID. So I can use that field in here. ID equal comment post ID. So those are the, the two post IDs out there. Now, since I have these two tables, I need to give them names just in case any fields are the same. And just to make life easy, it's just a kind of a convention, is just start with A and use a one letter name to save on uh, typing. So I'm gonna get, and then you just do a dot on each of the fields. So let's go ahead and fill that in manually here, a dots. And I purposely left that off the first time for demonstration purposes. And let's add some of our B fields here. And we'll get B uh, from the comments table. Let's get the comment ID. And we'll get the comment post ID. And we'll get some of the comment information there. But instead of getting all of it, right, because the comment can be kind of long, let's just get 10 characters of it. So using the substring function or, or doing or substring that field, comment content starting in position one for a length of 10. And I'll give that a name. I'm just going to call it comment start for the beginning of the actual comment. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at the result table from this request. So I'm requesting one, two, three, four columns from table A, and one, two, three columns from table B. And, and I'm just using an inner join. I click go, and now let's look down below here. Since I did an inner join, it's going to only show me rows where I have a match between the two. And notice that all these values are filled in here. We see we have comment ID 1 through 31, 
and the comment post ID is 155, 55, one, or 155, 155, 155, right? So all three of these are on the same post. Huh, see how it's the same post here? Very interesting, very good, but we don't have all of the posts in this table, and that's what we really want. So instead of using an inner join here, we can do a left outer join, and the outer is optional, so I'll leave it off. So we just do a left join for typing purposes. And now when I click go, we see, ah, now look at what's going on here. The comment, three comment columns have nulls. Well, this is where the left outer join is in action. Because on these posts here, there is no comment. And that's the whole purpose of the left outer join. So I get all of my post information, whether or not I have a corresponding comment row. And whenever there's a match, I'm going to get a row in my result table. And notice that there's 121 total rows out there between the 96 posts and however many comments there are. Let's uh, quickly take a look at how many comments. And if I do select count star from WP comments, let's click the go, and there's 31. So with that combination, that gives us a total of this 121 total rows that will be returned. And just to have some fun with this, if you we don't like the value null out here, there is another function similar to substring. It's called coalesce. And I'm just uh, throwing a little bonus value out here. Uh, so hopefully the left join, that concept is clear. Inner join, only return a row when you have a matching row in both tables. Left join, return a row for every row in your primary table or the left table. And I guess, you know, you look at this, here's the from, this would be left, and this would be right on the page. I guess that's where they got it from. But anyway, so let's take a look at this comment ID field, right? If it doesn't exist, there. if we don't like the null out there, one option we have, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull this down on another line here. We can use what's called coalesce. And this is a function worth knowing. So basically co coalesce says return the comment ID if it, if it is not no. And if it is no, return. Well, I'm just going to give it some text here. It could be a, a, a another column it could you could get very complex and I'm going to just say left outer join in action because we only get this if the left outer join has been activated so coalesce and there can be more and it would basically be uh, return the first argument the first not no argument. So if this is no, because there is no comment row, then this is just obviously text. That's obviously not no. So now when I click go, ah, look at that. It says left outer join in action. And these two are null. I didn't play with that. But anyway, you can see hopefully how this could be useful. Uh, another common left outer join example is always uh, show me all my customers and if they had an order in the past month or the past week, include their order information. So you want to include all of those rows regardless. For, you want to include each customer on your result table whether or not they had activity sales activity. So that's kind of how it's used. Inner join, left outer join, the two uh, 
main types of joins. There are other ones. Look up, find out, uh, scratching the surface, but day-to-day -day usage, um, SQL is extremely powerful and complex if you want to make it. And it's also very simple. The beauty here is if I mess something up, for example, I misspell subscreen there and I click go, well, I just get an error message. I didn't hurt anything. I'm just doing a select. I'm not updating any data. And I can just run it again. So there's our left outer join. This is Dave at DaveCoast.com if you want to contact me uh, or leave a comment at the bottom of the video. Thank you very much for watching.